What? What's up, my NSAPs? Welcome to my channel. So, today I'm gonna be reacting to Gravity Falls Season 2, Episode 10 Northwest Mansion Mystery. Interesting. So the only thing I can think of with Northwest is um, Mabel's uh, arch nemesis or whatever. I forgot her name already. So maybe it's like a story around her or her family or something like that. And it says like mystery mansion or mansion mystery. So maybe it's like something that takes place at her mansion. That should be interesting. I wasn't really a fan of the last episode, but it was kind of refreshing to see that not a lot of you guys were really a fan of last the last episode either. I felt like the comments were a lot more refreshing than I thought they were going to be. Because yeah, there was just like so much wrong with that last episode. But anyway, hopefully this one's better. Before we get into it, I do have a couple special shout outs I'd like to give. Shout out to Kendall. Thank you so much for sending me this cute little score bunny. This is my favorite Pokemon and I got this in my PO box. It is so cute. A shout out to Smoky Ash for your postcard and the cute little unicorn and rainbow stickers. I'm not going to show because you have your writing and stuff on this side, but it's a nice Washington postcard. Look at that. It's really cute. So thank you. A shout out to Bill as well. Thank you so much for your Christmas card, but also for the awesome Hell of a Boss and Has Been stickers. Like, dude, this is such a nice pack. It's so thick. Look how many stickers. Shout out to Emma. Thank you so much for your letter and your artwork. In the Gravity Falls world, there's me with Dipper and Mabel. That's so cute. And then look at the wolf. Look at the wolf. Actually, you know what? It says Emma, but a lot of people online will probably recognize this name a lot more as Awkwardly Nat. I recognize that name very much. I see you all the time, especially in the server. So thank you so much. I did receive your letter. Last but not least, last but not least, uh, shout out to Robbie. Thank you so much, but look at this. Oops. Oh, I opened that improperly. Um, look at this amazing Christmas card. It's super big and it's super pretty and uh, I really appreciate it, buddy. So thank you to everybody who sent me stuff. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. These little gifts and stuff are just so adorable and uh, you guys always send me like such cool stuff. So I just want to thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full unedited version of this reaction, you can click the Patreon link down below. Also, I do have limited edition Christmas merch. So if you guys want to check that out, merch link is also in the description. And now without any further ado, let's get into it. Ah, so it is. It's fucking huge. I must say, the guest list for this year's party has so much diversity. Yes, a nice mix of millionaires and billionaires. Wow, what a diversity. Pacifica. Pacifica, that's her name. I, I kind of like it. Mind your mother, Pacifica. But... Ooh. Yes, father. Ah, so we're getting the insight as to why she is such a little shit. Now we can see why. Her parents are fucking assholes. Holy crap. She looks great. Is this going to be a turning point for Pacifica? It's happening. Oh, the mystery? Surely there's someone who could handle this sort of nonsense. The Pines. And I think I know just the person. Dipper Pines, specifically. Interesting. Well, I thought it was gonna be the whole gang, but you know, he'll probably bring everybody anyway. Hey, hey. Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That completely threw me off. That was a completely different intro and a different whisper. Hold on. Excuse the fuck out of me? Oh, see, now this is what I'm looking for. Okay, well, in you know what? In editing, I'm gonna reverse that. Okay, now we're back. An entire 48-hour marathon of ghost harassers on the Houston- Ghost harassers? The fucking accuracy, though. <laughs> what a beautiful way of putting that. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. Uh, the North West family's annual high society shindig ball soiree is here. Even though common folk aren't let in, that won't stop us from camping out for a peek at the fanciness. Wow, that's tragic. <laughs> Pretty much the best party of all time. Rich food, richer boys. They say each gift basket has. I'm so tired of the boy fever. Oh, I'm so tired. Look, can I just let you guys know? Tween girls, boys is not the only thing they talk about for 24 fucking seven. Pacifica Northwest is the worst. Well, I mean, her parents. That's not just jealousy talking. I'd say that to her face. Would you? I need your help. You're the worst. <laughs> he didn't lie. Dipper Pines, a man of his word. <laughs> or a boy of his Wait, word. Why should I trust you? Mm. All you've ever done is try to humiliate me and Mabel. Just name Fair. your price. I'll give you anything. Hi, Pacifica. Anything? Excuse us. I'm sorry. Don't you see what this means? If you help 
I'm sorry, Mabel, this was a conversation between Pacifica and Dipper, not you. <laughs> I'm just saying. You get us invites to the greatest party of all time. Ah, so again, you want to meddle and convince your brother to do something that he doesn't want to actually do because you want to go to the party. Again, are we seeing this pattern? I'm tired of this. I'm so tired of this. I'm here for the mystery of it and that's it. This shit, the boy craziness and the constant meddling and disregard for every other fucking character. And again, it's not here and there. Every episode. I'm, I'm over that. I'm really over that. But it's Candy and Grinda's dream. Dream. Oh, right, because this is for them completely. This isn't because you want to go, uh, Mabel. Right, mm-hmm. <sighs> Way to Fine, manipulate. I'll bust your ghost. But in exchange, I'll need three tickets to the party. Mm. You're just lucky. I See, he doesn't even want to go. Like he's literally just doing this for Mabel because yeah, fine. It's just tiring. I'm just tired of it. That's all. I want to. I want to move on. I want other things in this show. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm over that constantly Welcome drawn out. Theater. Oh my God, she still has the fucking glue gun attached to her dress. That's funny. I just want other things. I it, like it. That the joke and the funniness about that has been repeated so many times. I'm over it. I want the mystery stuff. Give me the good shit. You know, that's what intrigues me about a show. If it's gonna have mystery and stuff in it, give me that. You know what I mean? And I know this is a kids show, so like fine. But I had heard about the mystery stuff, which is why I started it. And so far, I'm not. I haven't been really getting that. And so I've been like slowly really not enjoying watching Gravity Falls anymore because it's, it's just, it doesn't have what I thought was gonna be in it because that was so hyped up for me. I keep hearing to just wait later on this season, it will get to that. So I'm gonna keep watching. I'm just letting you know it's been a struggle. <laughs> Situation before the guests mm, Why are you haunted? I'll Does that have to do best. with that picture in the background? He's not wearing that, is he? I'm on it. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh. oh. It's like this collar is strangling me. What do you guys think you're oh, Poor Dipper. You wouldn't understand. High standards are what make the Northwest family Oh. <clears throat> Let's not dive into the whole... Pilgrim Native American thing. Yeesh. What was the truth behind all these things? I'm pretty sure all these like pictures are false and then there's gonna be a reverse version or like a true version of what actually happened. That would be fun. Check out this party. Marius von Fondhauser. He's a baron from Austria. Forget the quail, I'm putting him in my guest basket. Hold up ladies, I can't believe I'm gonna say that. Seriously. That's so frustrating. I understand, you know, teenage girls will have their little boy faces and stuff like this, but it's not like this, okay? There's way more to teenage girls than just boys. Oh, that's really frustrating. I think what frustrates me about this, because I know this was a, a show for kids or is a show for kids, and even though it aired about 10 years ago, which makes sense considering the times are a lot different now, it just frustrates me that this is the kind of content, you know, we had shoved in our faces and, you know, growing up and being that impressionable age, things Thinking, that's how I had to be. You know, it's like teenage girls watching this or preteens or even younger watch this. Oh, okay, these girls at this age, this is how they act. So I should be, I'm supposed to be boy crazy at this age. I should only think about boys. Like, no, can we give girl characters depth and other things about them than not just the fact that they like boys is their only fucking personality? You know what I mean? It's very frustrating. Give them depth. Give them a fucking personality, please. I'm gonna let it go. This was a show from 10 years ago. Fine. It was if more fit its time. That's fine. I'm glad today we get characters that have more character and personality, but it is just frustrating and it's kind of sad that it's like this was the representation for younger girls to look up to. That kind of sucks. And that's why I feel like it's so important to have positive representation and diverse representation in media. This is why things like The Owl House are so great. Legend of Korra, things that are showing like different sexualities, different personalities, different ways girls can be. I mean, like you had characters like Korra and Asami. Asami was a super smart, freaking tech savvy badass who could fight even though she didn't have bending abilities. She could kick ass. Korra, she was a tough girl who had muscles and strength. Scorpia, a tough big girl, muscles, strength. Luisa from fucking Encanto, big tough girl with strength and muscles but was still emotional and feminine. Like, we need that shit, you know? I'm so happy we get more of that. This kind of stuff, I am glad we have flown far away from this shit right here because this shit 
and it's just too much. It's just too much. And come at me in the comments. I mean, again, last last episode, I saw a lot of people were actually agreeing with me, so that was nice. Uh, but for those who don't, that's fine. You don't have to. I also don't have to agree with you. That's the beautiful thing about opinions. <laughs> it's fabulous. As long as your opinions aren't taking people's rights or hurting people. There's a fucking difference between opinions and just being racist, sexist, or an asshole. Or homophobic. Or it. transphobic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like. Just gotta splash this sucker with some anointed water and he should be out of your probably fake blonde hair. What? <laughs> probably fake blonde hair. <laughs> Love it. Oh, you. I knew the pictures had something to do with it. They were showing him too much. Come on, stupid thing. There we go. The eyes are different. Oh, he's gone completely. Oh, that's even worse. Ew. I'm surprised they were able to show that for a Disney show. There's blood. Ancient sins. Oh my god. So we're gonna get the truth behind those pictures. So the real shit that they did back in the day is gonna come out. And this is like their consequence for their sins. Mm. For their ancient sins in the family line. That's clever, actually. I like that. It's a category 10. It's a category 10. Yeah, poltergeist action and everything. Yeah, seriously, I'm surprised they were able to get away with this much blood for Disney. Wow, that's impressive. Sure, blood dripping from dead head, but from dead animals' heads with glowing, scary eyes, perfectly on brand for Disney. But two girls kissing. <sighs> The audacity. Oh, Disney. And I know Alex Hirsch fought for it too, by the way. I, I know the history between Alex Hirsch. Like, my issues with this show isn't specifically towards Alex Hirsch. I mean, I know he's the head writer. And it's supposed to be based on him and his twin. So maybe that was his experience with his twin. Listen, it was for its time. The things Disney approved and stuff then anyway was weird to begin with. <laughs> well, that's fun. Oh, you're scary. Ooh, you're really scary. See, if I would have watched this shit as a kid, this would have given me nightmares. You guys remember the Hey Arnold episode with the, like, uh, the bride, the haunted bride lady from the graveyard and how she, like, sang back and forth? That shit, I couldn't sleep that night. That shit got to me so bad, I swear I could hear that bitch, like, humming her little wedding tune. So, like, this shit would have totally haunted me. Alright, here we go. Advice. Pray for mercy. Oh, seriously? <laughs> that was funny. You seem very angry, sir. The finest of tastes and only the snootiest of laughter. Oh, 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 oh. That's the ticket. Dear God. No, oh, here we go. Guten Tag. So another episode of like a really interesting storyline, and then the B plot is boys and boy craziness. Okay. Through the garden. Watch out for peacocks. <laughs> Watch out for peacocks. <laughs> Poor thing. Haunted painting can only be trapped in a silver mirror. Look, there's a silver mirror right there. Oh, well, that's convenient. Wait, this room has my parents' favorite carpet pattern. They'll lose it if we track mud in there. What? Are you serious? We'll find another way. She's so desperate. She doesn't want to get yelled at by them or in trouble. That's sad. No, you wouldn't understand. Oh. Oh, I thought there was like a secret passage. I guess it still is, technically. This her place. hair. I don't even know where this room is. Hopefully the ghost. The true here. history. Yeah. Their maybe we're safe. No, it's their true history. A silver mirror. Oh, nice. Oh. Why are we silver? I've always been interested in that. Nicely done. But let's learn the true history about the Northwest. <laughs> yes, we did it. Oh. <clears throat> oh, is that a thing? Is this a thing? Is this a ship? Is this a ship? Guys, yeah, let me know in the comments if this is a ship, if this is a thing. Because I would actually be on board with that. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Pacific has been a little oh, fucking shit the entire time we've known her. However, now I can see in this episode, you know, we're getting insight as to why. And it seems like she's not exactly like her parents, but feels like she has no choice considering she is a child as well. So I can see like a character growth for her considering this is still kind of early on in this in season two. And so if that's the case, if she gets a nice character arc and development and turns out actually pretty sweet, I could see these two. I'd, I'd be down for that. I would ship this completely. Yeah. So let me know in the comments if this is a, if this is a ship and also if it's like a ship that you uh, that you like. I'd be down for this. I'd be completely down for this. Hey. That was cute. That was a cute yeah, moment. Cute I liked it. Wait, leaving already? 
You're at the world's best party, dummy. <laughs> He's I'd not love about to it. Stay, but I've got a category ten ghost. And see, and that's why it would be good for her too to be with somebody who this fancy world of money and fakeness does not do anything for him, to him. He doesn't care, and she's gonna be attracted to that because for the first time in her life, she's gonna meet somebody who does not give a fuck about any of this stuff. Where growing up, that's all her parents are obsessed about is everything that this you know superficially means, which it doesn't mean shit. It's just stuff. Ooh, it's shy. Whoop the fucking do. So they could be a good thing. I, I actually like this. I really like this. I ship it. What's their name? What's the ship name? Category 10. <laughs> oh. Call me crazy, but maybe she's not that bad after all. Yeah. I dig it. The Northwest asked us lumberfolk to build them a mansion atop the hill. Mm. We were told it would be a service to the town. Nope. When it was time for the grand party, they promised the common folk of the town. They refused to let us in. Mm -hmm. The truth. While they oh, in the past, interesting. That's a pretty gruesome death. Wealthy blood will stay in the ground. A curse passed down until this day. Mm. The Northwests knew this haunting was coming. And they tricked me into helping them oh, to Oh, that sucks. Justice? That sucks. I'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, that Mark. sucks. Ooh, let him out. Let him out. You've got some explaining to do. Let him out. Let him out. Zipper, you came back. You lied to She's me. not like them. You did. All you had to do I mean, was she did, but like, I think she likes you. Look at who you're talking to, boy. A I'm punk ass party. bitch. We'll rub elbows with your kind. My kind? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let I was him right out. about you all along. You're just as bad as your parents. I'm sorry. They made me. I should have told you, but... Oh, fucking Belle. Who uses a bell? She's not a fucking pet, dude. I let him out. Let the ghost out. Break the, break the mirror. Please let me get my vengeance on the Northwests. You hate them as much as I. Hey, I feel you. It's just... My sister's in there, and you seem a little For your sister. Man. Such a good brother. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't think that's a... There it is! And he's free. She's gonna think you let him out on purpose. Hi. Meanwhile! So, ah! <laughs> Do a toast! To our family name! Nice try. <laughs> I mean, y'all kind of deserve that. <laughs> oh, the Grim Reaper. I've been wondering when you would arrive. Oh, he turned you to wood. Holy shit. Oh, that's creepy. That's fair. Lumberjack uh, ghost. That's the ability. Clever. Not unexpected, but clever. Prepare the panic room. Poor squirrel. I'm also digging Dipper without the hat. It's interesting to see a whole episode with him not in his hat. One way to change your fates. A Northwest must open the party gates. Oh, easy. Northwest? Pacifica. Pacifica. Yeah, she'll do it. Pacifica? You want to know why this room was locked up? This is what I found in here. Ah, see, there we go. The real history. Absolutely. This is what I was talking about. I lied to you just because I'm too scared to talk back to my stupid parents. Ooh, we love a comeback. You're, I am just another link in the world's worst chain. It sounds like you're another Amity about to flip around and go against her snobby parents. Although her dad actually wasn't that bad, but like her mother, Jesus. Just because you're your parents' daughter doesn't mean you have to be like them. Yeah. It's not too late. It's too late. Ooh, they're cute. I like it. I like it. I ship it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm on this boat. Dipper. So, All right, ghost. What is their ship name? Pacipper? <laughs> Depifica? <laughs> you guys gotta let me know. Oh shit! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, it's up to you, Pacifica. Open the gates! Open the gates! Open the gates! You want me to let in the townsfolk? Cause I'll do it. Just change everyone back. You wish to prove yourself? Pull that lever and open the grand the gate to the gate. town. Pacifica at least northwest. At least this instant. Wow. Oh, Dipper. You dare disobey this? Yes. Fuck your bell. See, the bell kind of reminds me of like Amy's necklace. Our family name is broken, and I'm gonna fix it. Well done, Pacifica. Well fucking done. I'm so proud of you. Look at that growth. It is 
fucking guy. Get it! My heart, once his heart is oak, now grows soft like more of a birch or something. <laughs> Like more of a birch or something. There we go. You snobby folk. But you guys are back. Yay! You are not like the other Northwests. Good for you. I feel lumber justice. Nice. Damn, if your family hates you for this, Here we go. idiots. This is great. Enjoy it while it lasts. Next year, I'm sure they're just going to lock everyone out again. Mm. Guess what we're standing on? Haha. <gasps> <laughs> Okay, it's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I fuck with it. I'd better go find someone to clean this up. Woo! Scooby Doo! Okay. Okay. I'm watching that. I'm watching that. I fixed the laptop. I've been doing calculations, and I think something terrible is coming. The apocalypse. The end times. This is what I wanted. You know what, How about we talk? Not the apocalypse, but like, thank you. More interesting shit. Yes. It's a party. Let's have some fun for once, huh? But What's that picture? Oh, this is bad. Something's coming. Something big. Whoa, there it is! Mr. Cypher! Ah, see, now my interest has been re-intrigued. Thank you! I've been wondering where Bill was. I'm here, my darling. A moment alone at last. You can drop the act, Trigger. Oh my god, what the fuck? They're seeing activity on the machine. It's go time. Roger that. Where's my phone? I don't have it. Yes, you do. It was in your purse. Oh, so I'm just supposed to hold on to everything for you? I asked you. Oh my god. Hi. I'm not even gonna ask. Don't. <laughs> okay! Okay! Thank you! This is what I was waiting for! Ah, finally! Oh my gosh, see now that was a very good episode. M uh, minus the boy crazy shit. Take that whole subplot out. I adored this episode. That was fucking great. I really enjoyed that. It was mysterious. It gave some backstory and lore to the Northwest family. We are getting into like some the the serious shit with Bill Cipher. Like, thank you. Also, the little development between Dipper and Pacifica. I fuck with it. I like it. Let me know in the comments if you did if you dig it too. That's what I'm talking about. That was a great episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full unedited version of this reaction, you can click the Patreon link down below. I also have the limited edition Christmas merch. If you want some for yourselves, guys, link is in the description. I thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye!